Today we are making some amazing potato souffle. This is like a salty cake with some poblano, corn, cream. You will see, this is just a dream to have as a side dish for your turkey, your pork, or whatever you're cooking this Thanksgiving, Christmas, or New Year's Eve. Bienvenido a mi casa, que es tu casa. I'm so happy to have you here and be cooking together during the holidays. Thank you for letting me in in your home to teach you some delicious Mexican food. So today we're making some potatoes, some papas, so you can have as a side dish with your turkey, pork, or whatever you're having. So let's begin. This is really easy and delicious for sure. I have a plastic bag over here. I'm adding about three spoons of olive oil. I'm gonna also add a pinch of salt also a pinch of pepper and I'm gonna add my potatoes. There is no right measures on this recipe because everything is gonna depend on the base you're gonna use to go into the oven. This is mine. So what I did is was to cook the potatoes and I just put a like a bed of potatoes after a bed of potatoes or another bed of the potatoes on top to see like how many potatoes I will need and I cut them like this size. It's about half of a centimeter it's just like, a, I don't know, like the, just the width of my little finger. That's going to be the size. I'm just going to put them here so we can get them all with a little oil. I'm using olive oil, but if you don't have, you can use the kind of oil you have at home. Because this is going into the oven before we add all the other amazing mixtures. Because we want it to be a little crunchy and the potatoes, they take a little longer than the other ingredients to cook. So let's begin with the potatoes. So after I mix them for a while, this is ready to go into my base. I'm just gonna put them here. I'm gonna try to separate them as much as I want, as I can, because I want them to be a little crunchy. If you put one on top of the other, they're gonna stick together and they are not as good as if they, they are just, uh, I feel like just separated. Okay, so I will try my, to do my best to keep them uh, separated. And this goes into the oven for 30 minutes at 360 Fahrenheit, 180 degrees Celsius. So now I'm gonna teach you the secret to make the perfect poblano. We need to take off the skin. So I have the fire over here. I'm just gonna put it on top and we're gonna let the skin burn. And when this all burn on one side, can you hear? It's just like because it's, it's, it's burning. So when it's all brown, burning from one side, we're just gonna flip it over and flip it over and flip it over until everything is color black. After that, we're gonna put the chile poblano inside a bag and we're gonna leave it there sweating for about two minutes. You don't wanna take longer because it's gonna become all, uh, I don't know how you overcook, overcook. So you just want it that way and just get rid of the skin with a napkin or with a little water, get rid of the seeds and it's ready to cut. While my potatoes are getting ready, I'm gonna use my poblano that I just cut in little squares. I'm using about four poblanos because my base is pretty big, but as I told you, like there is no right measurement. Just use as much as you want. I'm gonna use, I use about half, half cup of uh, queso chihuahua, chihuahua cheese. You can use mozzarella, melting cheese, provolone, whatever you like, use it. I have about one cup and a quarter of corn. And I also have some cream. Remember, if you want the low-fat version, you can use Greek yogurt or normal yogurt instead of the cream. This is just table cream, Mexican table cream. I'm just gonna put it over here. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt, just a little pinch of salt, a little pinch of pepper, and we're gonna mix all together because we're gonna put a layer of potatoes, then one layer of this, and then another layer of potatoes all the way to the top. Okay, so my potatoes stay about 25 minutes in the oven. I could say they are like three quarters away from being totally cooked. And what I'm doing is just putting the slices over my base on here. And this is gonna be like a bed of potatoes. And then we're gonna add a, be a bed of our mix. And look, oh, they smell so good. They are great just like this. But with the souffle, Mexican souffle, this is gonna be really, really good with all the cheese and the poblano. So let's keep on doing our bed of potatoes. Okay, I'm just adding my bed of poblano with cheese and corn on top of the bed of potatoes. And now that this is ready, 
let's put another bed of potatoes. Don't worry if you don't cover all the spaces. The potatoes, uh, after a few slices, they're gonna be like everything covered. It's gonna be everything covered. So just add another slice of potatoes and just keep on doing the same. Now I'm gonna just, when you have the last layer of potato, add some cheese on top. And this goes into the oven for another 10 minutes for at least 160 Fahrenheit, 180 degrees. And look how good it looks. Oy, you're gonna enjoy it. Now I'm gonna cover just to decorate with some poblano. Just add the poblano on top. There we go, some slices of poblano with the melted cheese. There is no, no person that can resist this. This potato souffle doesn't look amazing. It's just lovely. It looks so delicious that I'm sure that I'm gonna, you're gonna surprise everyone at home. Please hashtag the, the photos that you take with my recipe so I can see them. You can hashtag Spicy Latina Mom on all social media. You can also find me in all social media as a Spicy Latina Mom. And please check out this pollo adobado. This is like a chicken in a special Mexican marinated that is perfect for the season. So I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, share my videos if you like them, and I see you next week, Wednesday, with more delicious, healthy Mexican recipes.